welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another episode of House to Home. And if you aren't familiar with my House to Home series, it's pretty much where I just show you different tours of the different rooms in our home. And I do have a playlist created, so if you're interested in checking it out, I will have it linked below. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you our baby's nursery tour, and I am so excited about it. We put so much love and time into this room. It's really amazing to see everything come to life. The room that we decided to use for his nursery is right down the hall from the master bedroom, so that's really convenient. Although he's not gonna be in here for quite some time, we wanted to make sure that whenever he does actually start sleeping in here, that it was really close to us and it wouldn't be across the house or anything like that. So it is the smallest room in the house, but we definitely made it work for what we're using it for. And whenever we found out we were having a boy, we immediately both agreed that we wanted to do kind of like this jungle animal theme. And I just think it turned out really, really cute. And then also with putting his nursery together, I wanted to make sure that I could utilize the furniture that we already had because we already had a lot of pieces that we weren't using. So to save money, I really just wanted to make sure that we could utilize those items. So you guys might notice throughout this tour that a lot of the pieces you see you probably saw in previous tours and in different areas of the home but I just really wanted to utilize the um, furniture I didn't want to have to go out and buy a ton of new things if I didn't have to so really the main splurge was the crib and I absolutely love 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 it so yeah that was the main thing that we really had to buy whenever putting his nursery together and then a couple of other different odds and ends but um, that is pretty much everything that I wanted to let you guys know and we are going to go ahead and jump into it. So whenever creating this nursery, I wanted to do it um, with the jungle theme in a way where it wasn't going to be too cartoonish, but I still wanted it to be very youthful and have that nursery vibe. So I'm going to start off with the chandelier, and this is just a little small, um, kind of an antique chandelier that we picked up from Overstock, and then also this beautiful soft fuzzy rug we picked up from Overstock as well. On this wall, we have the dresser for his changing table, and above the changing table, I put pictures of different animals. So I got the prints off of Etsy, and I framed them with these picture frames that I picked up from Amazon. So the dresser that we're using for his changing table is one that we've had for quite some time. It's from Pure One and it's a part of the Hayworth collection. It's a really, really gorgeous piece. Um, I love it and I'm glad that we were able to utilize it in his nursery. And on top, I just have this little caddy that holds some different necessities for changing and then some other things. And then I just have his little changing mattress thing. And then inside the dresser, we just have his little PJs and pretty much his everyday essentials, things I feel like I'll reach for the most, little onesies. I've washed everything and separated it by sizes. And right beside the dresser, we have his bouncer and this is the Four Moms Mama Roo. And to add to the jungle theme, we have this cute little monkey hanging from a vine. So um, I ordered this from Amazon and I just thought it would be a cute little touch. Right beside the changing dresser, I have this rolling cart that I ordered from Target. And it just has some extra diapers, um, some stain remover for poop explosions, wipes, a sound machine, and just different things like that. And right here we have our diaper pail and then also a humidifier. 
And here I have this three piece unit that I got from Ikea. I will link it below because a lot of you always have questions about it. But this has been in several different areas of our home and I thought it would be really nice in the nursery because it can hold a lot of things. So on the inside, I just have some books and I wanna thank everyone who sent him a book. We have books and then also I have some of his bath essentials and medicines and different things like that. So we just have Tylenol and baby wash and baby oil and a thermometer and just all of those things. And then on this bottom shelf, we just have miscellaneous things. So the unit has three drawers and in the first one I just have all of his little bibs and then also some little hand mittens to um, keep him from scratching his face. And in the second drawer we have tons of bottles. I do plan on breastfeeding but um, these will come in handy in case I decide to pump and bottle feed or if for some reason I can't breastfeed then we do have a lot of bottles. <laughs> And in the very last drawer, we have some washcloths and bath towels and just a lot of different bath essentials. He won't be able to use the little toys for a while, but we just have all of his bath things in this drawer. So here we have Uriah's crib and above the crib we have these block letters with his name and I ordered these off of Etsy and I thought they were so cute because they have the different little animals and it's just a nice safari theme. So inside the crib we do have a few things now but whenever he sleeps in here of course we won't have anything in the crib but um, I just love the name above the crib and I just thought that it added a nice little touch and his crib we actually ordered it from RH Baby and I absolutely love 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 this crib. It was definitely a must-have item for his nursery. And for more of a jungle touch I added this little safari tree and I ordered it from Overstock. And just for now inside the crib we have this cute little elephant that we received in the mail but we're not sure who sent it to us because it didn't have a name and then we also have his little boppy pillow with his name on it and his sheets I also ordered these from RH baby and they just have elephants and zebras and giraffes on them and across his crib I just have these two blankets that my grandmother made for him so they're really really special and the oversized giraffe and zebra, I ordered those from Amazon. In the corner, we have this little swinging chair that I got from Pier One. We do have a traditional rocker that's in our master bedroom because that's where he's gonna be in the beginning. But I just thought the swinging chair was a nice little touch and I thought it added um, to the jungle theme very nicely. So we just have some different little teddy bears sitting on the inside. So here we have another dresser. Um, this is also from Pier One, a part of the Hayworth collection. And in here I just have some little hats and socks and just different things like that, little small items. So now moving on to his closet. His closet is fairly small. We actually had um, California closets come out and build us a custom closet. That way we could utilize the space a little bit more. But I do have clothes hanging up and I've separated them just to make it easier for whenever I'm looking for different things. So I have zero to three months and three to six months. And then I also have a little small section for newborn. I didn't want to buy two too many newborns because I heard that babies normally outgrow newborns really quickly so um yeah I just have different little um, areas for his little clothes and we have so many diapers and so many wipes and 
And over here, we just have sizes six to nine months and then nine to 12 months. And then on the rack underneath, I have a little section for 12 to 18 months. And I don't even want to think about him being that big. Oh my goodness. Like those clothes look so big. We have a little Docker talk back there. And right here, we have his cute little shoes. So he has like some little moccasins and little tennis shoes and Sperry's and different things like that. And Colton's a huge Ninja Turtle fan, so he's already bought him these little Ninja Turtle items that I put here. And that one little thing's a piggy bank, so we've been putting quarters in it and trying to fill it up before he gets here. And then the unit does have three drawers, and um, I just have different miscellaneous things on the inside. So in the top drawer, it is so random. We have some boogie wipes and some extra diapers and a little cup holder that goes on the stroller and then in the second drawer I just have some little pants and some little blue jeans and just different little items that can go with his onesies and then in this drawer we just have his big fluffy blankets all right you guys so I hope you enjoyed the tour of baby Uriah's nursery hopefully it gave you some inspiration for your baby's nursery and just thank you guys so much for watching and following along on this journey we're really excited it will not be long until he gets here so thank you again and I will talk to you all in the next video bye